Ranger 374 coming to you from the Bass Cave. As you can see from the intro there, it's not too nice in the Northeast. Matter of fact, it's snowing again right now. They're calling for 6 to 12 tonight. So, finally got some stuff in from Christmas. Um, gift cards and stuff uh, cashed in. And everything came in sporadic. Tackle Warehouse is shipping from two different places and it's coming in three different shipments sometimes so got some tackle got some new rods got a reel got a bunch of stuff but um didn't get a bunch of tackle um got enough but nothing compared to the rods and the, the reel i got but picked up some more some of these uh missile baits mini chunks Got a few colors I didn't have. This is the uh, bombshell. It's kind of a kind of a translucent color. It's probably hard to see in here, but I'm not gonna pull them out. But anyway, I'm gonna try them on some jigs. I got another one in the super bug color. It's kind of the green pumpkin in black and blue, like laminate. They're all good. This just straight up green pumpkin in this one really nice little trailers can't wait to try them out some chatter baits some swim jigs some finesse jigs and I got I was trying to find some black trailers just straight black tra trailer or a black and purple trailer been on this black and purple hunt lately but ended up getting some some trailer or not really trailers but I'm gonna make them trailers um, I got a zoom fluke just some black regular flukes straight up black ones I use them on the back of a chatterbait they'll work it's really tough just to find a solid black anyway I got a from gambler got killer G it's a black and purple um, little swim bait soft jerk bait it'll work I'll cut off the end of it a little bit and use it as a as a trailer same thing this one is in the Macmillan magic it's just black with some with some sparkles in it basically got that I got the Komodo it's got black and blue tail but anyway it's got more black in it it's a gambler trailer supposed to be made for the chatterbait we'll check it out and see had some more of those but ended up getting some more like I said I didn't get a whole lot of stuff I'm not concentrating on the tackle that much um, I've got so much tackle you know I'm starting to get confused on what I have so anyway Old Faithful here Red Shad Culprit seven and a half inch I used to throw the 7 inch back in the 80's awesome bait in the northeast cut a half inch off I'll be back to 7 inch picked up a it's from Jackal saw these uh, I think on uh, either Debo's channel or Tackle Junkie it's the um, Jackal Firecracker buzz bait give that a try I got the all black I'm gonna try that out see what all the hypes about about this one looks pretty sweet it's got a spinner blade on it you can see clacks against the other blade I'll give it a try once it gets a little warmer not gonna do it now of course you get you know sticker it's got hundreds of them anyway 
what I get? Oh, I did get, they had some stuff. This is all from the 25 days of savings on the Christmas sale. Um, it went to like January, I want to say 10th. So that's how I lucked out and got the stuff with my Christmas gift cards. But anyway, these jigs were on sale by D&M. It's a piranha swim jig. Got the purple. It's peanut butter and jelly, 3 8 ounce. Give that a try. Like I said, I'm trying to get some black and purple stuff going again. You know, Tequila Sunrise and June Bug, they were always good colors. I'm trying to get get some of them back into the my staple before I get these. I did get this. It's a Beast Coast wood flipping jig. It's black and purple. Give that one a try. I think that one was on sale, but anyways, it was black and purple. Got a couple crankbaits. Um, not a bunch. But I did hear about this on the Baitman's channel. Kevin, if you're out there, thanks for the um, heads up on these. It's called the Chick Magnet by Strike King. I had never heard of them until I heard him talking about them. But anyway, it's a flat side. And they only had this color in. It's the root beer. Root beer chick magnet. It's the only one they had in. So I bought one. So we'll give it a try this spring. Flat sides are really good. Speaking of that. Um, got the Fritz side 5. Got one that in the honey shad. I have these in some other colors. But I heard this honey shad was really good color so I'll give that one a try in the spring and of course I'm pretty sure everybody out there has heard of the Rapala Ots OG series picked up one of them that is in the green gizzard shad give that one a try another flat side give it a swing see what happens I'm trying to blow past this because I want to show you these rods um, Another pack of them flukes. Bought two packs of them black flukes. Never go bad. Another Fritz side. It's in the five also, but this one's the big one in the honey shad. It's a little bit bigger than that other one. Uh, I didn't know where it went, but anyway, these are the two. The big one's just you know. A little bit bigger than normal. And I got another jig that was on sale. It's a Phoenix jig. It's kind of a brown and purple. But give it a shot. 3 8 ounce. Just a casting jig. Not a swim jig. Hook that up with some of the other things I got in here that I'll show you. Two more jigs. Well, this one's not a jig, but it's a bladed jig. I'll show you in a second. Got another Beast Coast in the Stealth Midnight. It's like a black and red finesse jig. I like these little Beast Coast finesse jigs. They're pretty sweet. Anyway, Tackle Junkie, here it is. I finally got a Picasso shock blade right there. And it is the heavy cover one. And it is 3 8 ounce. It's got a titanium wire in it. Heavy cover. And it is black blue chartreuse. Give that a shot. TJ's been saying it's better than the uh, Jackhammer by Z-Man. So I'm going to give them a shot. Let's see what happens. Ended up getting a casting rod sleeve I've got a bunch but got it for like three bucks when you know you buy buy a rod so black and blue match matches some of the rods and to go along with them jigs I bought a bunch of these just cause I'm getting 20% off at the sale Uncle Josh I got a bunch of frogs this time 
because these things are 11 bucks get 20 percent off you know that's when i'm going to buy them not going to buy them when they're just you know 11.99 or 10 whatever they are that's a lot of a lot of money for just three pieces of pork but i got the big daddy frog and i got that one in this one's a black and blue my favorite color I got a bunch of number 11s. I got, shoot, got a bunch of them. But anyway, the Big Daddy, again, I got it in blue and just a black. Two separate ones. I'm going to give them a shot. I'm going to do a comparison on the old Uncle Josh frogs versus the new. I have, back in the secondary bass cave, I have my old stuff, which I should probably be throwing again. But anyway number 11 frog got a bunch of these this one is a um black blue i got a crawdad brown in this like i said you didn't get three frogs with these things I, that's probably what you got before but nowhere near paid you know 12 bucks for these things and then i got just a black and a black blue in the number 11 so that'll go with all the jigs you know that i showed you when it's colder out, gets warmer out, I put plastics on them because this stuff will dry up very quickly as I've learned back in the 80s fishing it. Of course, you know, you buy enough stuff, you get your free TW shirt, which I have plenty of. Okay. Um, I got four rods behind me. One, two... Three of them were from Tackle Warehouse, and I got one straight from the manufacturer just because it was such a good deal, as I'll show you in a second. But anyway, bought a reel. actually bought two reels. I only got one in, but they're both the same. And it is the Corrado K200. Six gear ratio. Put some line on this one already. This is going to go on one of the new rods that I going to show you here in a second but Crotto can't beat them thing is sweet reason I bought two of them and this goes with any of these reels but I like the Corrado's so I bought two while I could because I heard there's a price increase February 1st which is next week um, today is the 28th when I'm filming this and I'm watching snow out my window right now and it ain't good but anyway um, yeah, I heard there's an increase coming in February for um, all Shimano reels. So, snatched up on two of them while I could get them. And go along. This isn't going to go with, with that Corrado, but I don't know if you saw one of my videos about this rod. I bought another one. It is the Cellus Rod. This is the 610 medium heavy. It does from quarter to three eighths ounce. It's a medium heavy, fast action. I'm gonna do a video on these. I have them behind me if you can see the rod sleeves behind me. All Cellus rods. And I fished them for the entire club season last year just so I could get a decent review on this rod because that is a $49 rod and for 49 bucks that is a steal on this series of rods they perform awesome um, I would recommend them to anyone um, for a budget type rod you can fish anything on them um, the medium action is great with crankbaits rattle traps um, jerk baits um, the medium heavies so I have them in the 68 610 and I had the spinning rods in 68 and 610 and they all work fine um, no problems with them like I said I'll do a separate video on them but and that's regular price 49 bucks you catch a sale with 15 off you know you can't beat it this rod I've been waiting about a year to get. It was back ordered the first time that I wanted to get it. But it is the Shimano 
SLX glass crankbait rod. Now this is the medium action one. I still got the tag on it, the SLX. Um, this is the medium action one. It's a seven footer and it does from if I could adjust my bifocals. Yes, I'm getting old. Quarter to half ounce lures. So I'm going to throw some square bills, some traps, and I'm going to try some bladed jigs on it. See how they work out. But like I said, this thing was back ordered for a long time. And with the 15 or 20% off, I forgot what it was on it. You know, it's a $99 rod. So I got it for 85 80 whichever it was. I'd have to pull the slip, but going to try that one out and see how it performs um, against this other rod that I got that I've been also wanting to get and it is the Dobbins Champion XP got to spin it around and try not to knock everything down it's a Dobbins XP 705 glass cranking rod and it is also a seven footer and like I said I'm going to compare it but this one does quarter to one ounce so I'm going to see the difference and see how they work out but this one same thing I'm going to try everything on it um, this is a sweet rod and I think it's a $250 rod and at Bass Pro I got it for $167. So I wasn't going to spend $250. I won't spend $250 on a rod. Anyhow, I don't believe you have to. That $49 Cellus rod I could get away with every day of the year. Anyway, speaking of Dobbins again. I bought direct from Dobbins. This wasn't Tackle Warehouse. Um, they were having a sale on the Fred Rubanis series, the Boom Boom series of rods. I think he has left Dobbins. I don't know where he went, but I heard he left. And these are the green rods. These are the same blanks as the one I just showed you, except they're green. And this isn't a glass rod. This is just graphite. But it is also a DC 705 CB. And it does quarter to one ounce. Same thing. This just isn't the, the glass series. This is a graphite one. So you can see it's still got, if I can get it all the way to the end, it still has the price tag of what it should be on it. Yeah, two hundred and fifty dollars, right? Dobbins was selling all these rods, and it's up here again. Another, another tag on it. Dobbins was selling them direct for one hundred and forty dollars, one thirty-nine ninety-nine to be exact. So, I only picked up one. I don't have, you know, one hundred and forty dollars, especially after you know I bought all this other stuff. But anyway, I picked up one. Just see how it performs. I figure, what the heck? Um, you know, I never spend that much on a rod, and I don't think you need to. Um, that blue rod I showed you, I'll fish them all day. But um, we'll see what happens with these, um, and I'll let you know. But anyway, um, hope everybody's safe out there. Um, getting all your gear ready. My place is a mess right now. Because I got like seven reels laying in front of me ready to be spooled and put on rods. Obviously, I'm putting some on these new rods, but um, I've got a complete mess in this room right now. But um, let me know what you're doing. What do you do in the wintertime when uh, you ain't fishing? I showed you what it looks like outside my house, um, and it's going to get worse tonight. So let me know what you do and um, what you get for Christmas or. Um, just in general. Um, so anyway, it's Ranger 374 and I'm out.